Duke Mike head Elko. football coach Mike Elko. There he is. Appreciate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mike, guys, thank you so much. For sure. with us. Man, for I don't sure. know. You've done such a great job turning this around, and you've been varied places, played in the Ivy League. Why is your background? suited you perfectly for this place and this job. Yeah, I just think it's a great fit for finding a place where you can do the best of both. And, and I think here we can compete for championships on the field. We do it in a lot of our athletics programs, but you can also really achieve in the classroom and become great in life. And that's the message we send here at Duke. And you see it out here today, what Duke football could really be all about. You know, I, we talked yesterday and everybody appreciates what Coach Cut was able to do. But the last couple of years, not probably the way he obviously would love to have seen it. You came in, changed this culture, nine wins last year in your first year. Big win against Clemson, game days here, you got Notre Dame. Just talk about the change of culture and what you've created here. Yeah, I think we've developed a winning culture. I think we've got phenomenal kids in our locker room. I think they work extremely hard. They buy into playing the game together. And, and we talk a lot about, you know, the sum of our parts can be better than the individuals. And I think that's what we embody when we go out there on the field. No doubt. Coach, coach whenever I see you, the first thing I notice is a football guy. Is the size of your head. I like that. I told you we that. We talked yesterday. about this yesterday. Ooh, a I told you that yesterday. That thing is impressive, especially in football. <laughs> it's all the it's all the brains, Pat. It's understand. all the brains. You got a big brain. That's you, why I fit at this place. You would think fullback or linebacker. Instead, you were a safety that flew around, but your teams are known for having incredible defense. You're gonna be taking on a Notre Dame offense that's big, strong, powerful. What have you been telling the boys and what do you expect this evening? Yeah, yesterday? I mean, obviously this is gonna be the biggest physical challenge we've met since I've been here. And and their run game and their power run game. Uh, has been really effective all year, and we're going to have to figure out a way to match their physicality, and then we're going to have to do enough on third down, and, and when Sam gets loose, throwing the football to contain him. And then he's been around forever, and that'll be a huge challenge for us. Yeah. Coach, I know you've been a defensive-minded coach your whole career. We got some plays we want to show you. Oh I want boy. you to break them down for us right oh here boy. at the Zotrons. Okay. Oh, All right, so this is, this is the third down against Clemson. All right, so this is simulated pressure. So we're going to overload the side. We're going to get out blades coming off the force in the hot throw. And they're going to think they have the open access on the hot throw. But we got a trap corner down here on the oh, bottom, yeah. okay. right? Which is what ultimately is able to get him down on the ground, put us well, in position to yeah. be successful. You can go up there and point at guys if you want oh, to. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We we'll do this. Yeah. <laughs> we got another this one. Is, Just this is me on the telestrator. Point this is yeah, me exactly. on the telestrator. Yeah, <laughs> we got another one for you, too. Yeah. Yeah, so this is the big this is the go. big play in the game, right? And so this is first and goal on the one. That's what we're we do a good about. job taking on the double team. We get great pushback here. There we then go. Anthony Nelson, a transfer from Harvard, when you talk about smart guys, right? <laughs> Close the guard back up in the backfield. Wow. Right? That creates the Ooh. fumble. Creates the fumble. Because yeah. fumbles get created. Yes. Right? Creates the fumble. <laughs> and then we go That's running right. down the sideline. I think that was obviously the biggest play in that Clemson that game. Was huge. Coach, great, I think great. my biggest thing realizing after chatting with you yesterday and with Riley Leonard and getting a chance to meet some of the boys and I say this as a compliment not because you guys are saving the world it's like a nerd school got to be real smart to get here your team though is a gritty tough blue collar squad yeah you see it there down on the goal line how have you been able to find these guys to become Duke Blue Devils yeah and I think it's a great mix and I think you can build that into your program I think we have a phenomenal strength and conditioning staff I think we build a lot of the toughness through what we do in the offseason and I think our kids have bought into that's who we have to be we got to be able to out physical people to be successful hell yeah I've been most impressed with overcoming the adversity of having Billis speak to the team <laughs> in the and, and still you're winning remarkably somehow. I know you've got these fans ready to go tonight. You've got a special friend here in Creed Colossa. Why don't you get the fans fired up here with what we're going to see from the yeah, way sure. <laughs> Creed, come on out here. So, so Creed's a guy that joined us about a year ago. We were able to sign him onto our roster. He's been with us about as long as I've been with us. And he's going to get the crowd fired up today. You want to get him going with a little yeah. bit of let's go Duke? Let's go. Let's go Duke. Let's go Duke. Let's go Duke.